Hi guys, welcome to a new video and welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. So technically this video is part of my Vlogmas series and it's the second day of Vlogmas. Instead of my typical day in the life vlog, I wanted to do a dedicated video talking about my weight loss journey and give you guys an update and pretty much just talk everything about it because I have been meaning to do this for a while and you guys have been asking for this and you guys had a lot of questions and things you wanted me to talk about so I felt like the topic just needed its own video rather than just inserting it into a vlog because I have a lot to talk about and give you guys all an update about that. So that's what we're gonna do in today's video. Tomorrow will be a regular day in the life vlog. I'm actually gonna be doing a what I eat in a day so I can piggyback off this video and talk about the meals that I've been eating that kind of have helped contribute to my weight loss. So I have all of my notes written down. I'm gonna talk a little bit about what I've been doing that has helped me lose weight. I'll give you guys a background about how much weight I've lost. I'll show you guys some before and after photos. And then after I talk about like all my tips and info and pretty much what I've done to lose weight, I'm gonna do a little Q and A at the end of the video. I have a long list of notes here and it'll just be a really nice long video all about my personal experience with weight loss because everyone is different and everyone's bodies are different. Everyone loses weight differently. Um, but I'll just let you guys know what worked for me, things that I found didn't work and things that did work for me because this has been a really long process for me. If you've been with me since day one, you might know that one of my top videos, I think it's the third video I ever posted on my channel five years ago was me losing 50 pounds in five months. So yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys have been with me since then and you've wondered what has been up with my weight loss journey and you know, all of that. So I'm gonna go into detail about all of that. So let me just back it up a little bit with my weight loss journey, a really brief history of where I've been with my weight loss journey. So like I said, in 2018, I posted a video and I lost 50 pounds back then at the end of 2017 going into 2018. And for about two years or maybe two and a half years, up until 2020, I pretty much maintained the weight that I was at. And then 2020 came around and COVID and quarantine happened and I pretty much gained all the weight back. I was at my heaviest probably at the beginning of 2022. I'm gonna insert a photo of myself in around that time and my weight was about 180 pounds. That was what I was at my heaviest. And I'll insert a photo of myself right now so you can kind of compare and see like the changes, but pretty much I lost 20 pounds. So right now I'm around uh, 159. My goal weight is about 140. That's pretty much healthy for me. And that's what my weight was in 2018 when I dropped that how I lost 50 pounds video. So I'm just trying to get back to that. That's the goal. So I gained all the weight back between 2021 and 2022. Those two years, I just was home every day because that's also when I went full-time influencing. I quit my nine to five and I was home every single day working. I had all this free time to like make my own schedule. So I was working whenever I wanted. I was eating whenever I wanted. I was eating whatever I wanted. It was just a really bad, unhealthy cycle. And I had a very bad relationship with food. I was binge eating. I was eating with emotions. You know, I was stressed. Sometimes I was like really sad and I would just eat to cope with my emotions. Food and body image has been a mental health thing for me ever since I was a kid. Um, my weight fluctuates every few years, but I got to my heaviest probably a year ago. So when that happened and I went to my doctors and my doctor told me my weight and I realized that that's the heaviest I've ever been, a, just a, a switch clicked in my head and I said, I have to make a change. This is not healthy. First and foremost, it's not healthy for me. I have a history, a family history of heart problems. So I need to take care of my health. And I also stopped working out for a couple years. I used to go to the gym and then when COVID and quarantine came, I obviously stopped going to the gym and I didn't know how to work out at home. Um, so I just didn't work out at all. I would go on walks outside, but in terms of like rigorous, you know, workouts, I didn't know how to do that at home. For two years, I was pretty much inactive and that's why I gained so much weight. So then in 2022 of March, I bought my Peloton and that pretty much is where I started to lose weight. At first it was very slow. I was losing maybe like one or two pounds a month. Um, and then I would maintain it for a while. And it was because I wasn't working out that often. I was working out maybe like once or twice a week. My eating habits got healthier. They definitely got better, but I was still eating out. I wasn't keeping track of how much I ate, which is really important. So that's pretty much the whole history. October of last year is when I started to really buckle down and take it seriously. So I dropped about 10 pounds 
back then. And if you remember my Vlogmas video from last year and I talked about how I lost 10 pounds, yeah, I did that in a couple months back then. That's when I really started taking it seriously. And then the new year came, 2023 came, and I really still tried to work out regularly and eat healthy, but it was just such a slow weight loss for me. I was not losing that much weight. Um, I felt healthier and I can feel myself getting stronger, but I wasn't dropping pounds. So it wasn't until September of this year, so three months ago or two months ago. That's when I really, really, really was like, you know what, I'm sick of this. I've been trying to lose weight for a year. I've only lost 10 pounds, which that is an accomplishment, but I had so many more bigger goals. So in September, I just said, okay, we need to start working out more. You need to start working out five days a week. You need to literally keep track of what you eat. And I did all that and it helped me drop another 10 pounds. Total weight loss so far is 20 pounds. I'm not done yet. I still wanna lose maybe 15 more pounds. But that is just the history of where I am today and how I lost weight. So now I'm gonna get into the details on how I lost weight, how I found the motivation, what changes I made, what I found worked and what didn't work. So now we'll get into all that. Okay, so I think the biggest change that I made that helped is the workouts that I did. I used to work out one to two days a week at most. Sometimes I would just not even work out all week. And then I changed it to five days a week. So a lot of working out pretty much almost every weekday. I would take two days off, Saturday and Sunday, or sometimes I would take Friday off and Saturday off and then work out on Sunday. So I would always try to do five days on, two days off. And I think the other big thing that really helped me was just finding the motivation because I didn't have that motivation. I always had the want and the need to do it, but I just couldn't find the willpower to get up and do it. I saw this girl on TikTok, I'm gonna try to find her, but she put out this video and it was a quote that just really stuck with me and it still sticks with me to this day. She said, being overweight is hard. It's hard, you know, you don't feel your best. And then there's another type of hard, which is working out. Working out is hard, we all know that. Especially when you're just starting out, it's hard but you have to choose what hard you want. Do you wanna be overweight or do you wanna just work out? Both are hard, just choose which hard you wanna do. So that video really stuck with me. Um, I'm gonna to try to find her name so I can give her credit. Yeah, so I just decided, okay, they're both hard. I just rather would work out more. As hard as it is to get up in the morning and find motivation and to stick with it five days a week. I think that used to be the hardest thing for me was finding time for five days a week. But once I started doing that for two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, it got so easy and now it's just such an essential part of my routine. It's like brushing teeth to me, I have to do it. If I don't work out for five days during the week, I get antsy, I feel just jittery, like I feel like I need to move somehow. So yeah, just finding the motivation and also finding the time. I used to prioritize work over anything. Back in the day when I had any free time, I would do something that related to work or to my brand. But now when I have free time, I'm like, okay, you know what, I have a couple hours, let me go on the bike really quick and work out. So my priorities have changed a little bit. I am prioritizing my health and my wellness, my physical health a little bit more than work and keeping the end goal in my mind at all times. My end goal is that I just wanna feel confident. I want to be healthy. I have to take care of my body and my heart because I'm getting older, I need to be healthy on the inside and out. And I always keep that in the back of my mind on the days when I don't have motivation. I think of my end goal and I think about the days where I used to struggle with confidence. I just think I don't wanna go back to that. I just wanna keep this up and get even better. I'm reading my notes here, I wrote a lot. <laughs> but basically I also uh, was saying how I was just really tired and fed up with feeling uncomfortable, feeling tired and sluggish all the time, feeling bloated all the time. And I also got fed up with the scale staying the same weight every time I checked because I thought I was doing what I needed to do to lose weight and then I would go check the scale and it was the same, it was the same number. So I was just thinking in my head, what am I doing wrong? So I knew that working out two to three days a week was not cutting it. I needed to up it to five days. Sometimes I even do six days and that alone, I saw so much results in just three weeks. I really saw the scale drop fast, especially in October. Uh, Cause I started going really ham in September with the working out and then October, like every time I would check my weight on the scale, it was like every two days I would check the scale and my I would drop a pound. Like I was, it was going fast. 
Um, it kind of slowed down a little bit. Now it's like more at a steady rate. But after the first three weeks, it was just going down so fast. And I was like actually shocked. I had not seen my weight that low in three years. I finally felt like I was doing something right and something was actually happening and working. Sorry, I think I'm going like all over the place. I'm just saying what's on my mind um, and I'm kind of rambling. Hopefully it's organized in some sense, but I'm on the topic of workouts. So the first thing I mentioned was workout frequency, upping it to five days a week. Also the length of my workouts, I increased as well. So I used to do an average of maybe 45 minutes to an hour of working out each time I did, but now I upped it to about an hour to, to an hour and a half. So I have an Apple watch and that's another thing that I would recommend helping you keep track of your movements, your fitness, your steps, basically anything because this seriously has helped me lose weight, my Apple Watch alone. You can set activity goals on here. Uh, you can set the amount of calories you wanna burn each day. You can set the minutes you wanna work out each day. So I increased all of my numbers. I went from 500 calories moving each day to 700 calories. I upped my uh, workout exercise time from 45 minutes to an hour minimum. And then my stand time, I upped it from eight hours to 10 hours. So it's just such a fun game, like seeing your rings close. And if you know Apple Watch, you know what the rings are, but if you're not familiar with Apple Watches and with the activity um, fitness app, basically there's these rings here. These are my rings for today. I pretty much closed all of them except for the stand when I need to stand for one more hour. But basically, yeah, you have these three rings and you can just, um, you know, set how many calories you want to burn each day. Closing my rings feels like such a game to me. It feels like such a good challenge and I just desperately want to meet that challenge each day and I want to close my rings each day. I don't close them every day and I don't beat myself up over it if I don't close them, but when I do, it just feels like such an accomplishment and I think that's really helped me stay motivated with working out more. And I'm also obsessed with trying to get to 10,000 steps a day because you can also keep track of how many steps you take each day. I do not meet that goal every day. I'm gonna go into details of the types of workouts I do, but um, one of them is walking on the treadmill just in the gym. Um, I try to walk about 5,000 steps on the treadmill and then I usually get the other 5,000 throughout my day when I'm walking around in the house and out doing errands or whatever. But yeah, walking a lot more has made such a difference. People underestimate how walking can help you lose weight. So yeah, my Apple Watch has really helped me challenge myself with the amount of steps I take, the amount of calories I burn, and the amount of minutes I work out. So I really recommend an Apple Watch or some sort of watch you can wear that helps you keep track of your physical activity. Okay, so now for types of workouts, I'll get into what workouts I do, how frequent I do them, and kind of like the combination of workouts I do, because I do work out five days a week and I don't do the same thing every day. So I pretty much do the majority of my workouts at home. I have a Peloton bike and then I also have the Peloton subscription. It's I think $40 a month. You don't need the bike to have the subscription. You can just have the subscription, pay for $40 a month and you have endless classes, hundreds of classes. They have HIIT cardio, they have strength training, yoga, Pilates, shadow boxing, they have everything. And then they of course have the cycling and they also have treadmill classes. So there's something for everyone. And honestly, that app alone and the Peloton itself has seriously helped me find workouts that I love. And I try to do a mix of cycling and strength training on the same day. So for example, an average workout day for me um, or my preferable favorite type of workout day is doing a 45 minute to 50 minute Peloton ride. And the way I do it is I break up the classes. I like stack them on. There's 30 minute classes and 20 minute classes and 15 minute classes. So just to make it seem less daunting, I like to break it up. Cause if I'm looking at the time left and I see that I have 40 minutes left, to me, I'm just like, ugh, like this is such a drag, like 40 more minutes of this. But when I break it up into 30 minute and 20 minute intervals, it seems more doable to me and more enjoyable. So I usually do a 30 minute class and then a 20 minute class after, or I'll do 30 minute and then a 15 minute class after. So it equals 50 minutes or 45 minutes of that cardio. And then I'll follow that with either a light arms, uh, what do you call it? Arms and light weights workout, or I'll do a leg workout or I'll do an ab workout. So I like to kind of accompany, you know, cycling and then some sort of strengthening workout. Sometimes I'll do arms and legs, arms and abs. Like I like to mix it up. I don't like to do the same thing 
every day but I always do try to fit in cycling four times a week and that alone upping up the amount of days I'm working out on the Peloton and also increasing the amount of time I'm working out on the Peloton that's really how I saw fast results also a big thing that I've learned is low intensity cardio workouts I think have helped me lose weight more than higher intensity I don't know if that's true that's just kind of what I've been seeing but ever since I started doing low intensity workouts meaning you know my heart rate stays at about 140 BPM per minute um, I've noticed that my weight was dropping quicker. They do have low impact rides on Peloton. I do a lot of those. Another low impact workout I like is just walking on the treadmill for 45 minutes. That's how I get my steps in as well. But like I said, I've noticed that increasing the amount of steps I'm taking is really helping with the weight loss. And then I don't do just cycling for cardio. I like to do hit cardio workouts. That's also in the Peloton app. I love shadow boxing. I do Kendall tools. Um, shadow boxing class classes on the Peloton app and they're so much fun and I really started doing more Pilates I've been a fan of Pilates for years and years But I kind of stopped doing it because I just in my mind thought I needed to just focus on cardio but combining the cardio with Pilates is such a good workout. I just feel so much more Leaner and more toned especially in my abs and my arms I'm gonna write down here like a kind of sample week of workouts so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm doing Okay, so that's the gist of the types of workouts I do and then the other thing I wanted to mention in terms of work working out are rest days I have seen more results when I take rest days like for example I'll work out for five days and take two days off and then when I start working out again after those two days of rest I'll notice my weight drops a little bit fast or I notice that my stomach looks a little bit flatter than last week um, so I really feel like rest days are so essential because your muscles need to rebuild and kind of a mental change that I made in terms of rest days back in the day before I was on this good path to losing weight I would work out I would have a good week of working out maybe I worked out four days and for me back then that was really good <laughs> four days a week was good for me um, so then I would work out for four days and then I would be like okay I'm gonna take a couple days off now I would take a couple days off and then just never work out again until two weeks later. So that was my problem. I didn't know how to get back into it after having rest days. So now I am so much better at getting back into the groove of working out after having rest days. And it just comes back to finding the motivation, remembering why you're doing this. I started to see results and that motivated me. So that's why I keep going is because I wanna see even more results. But in order to see those initial results, you just have to be really disciplined and motivated in the beginning and it's hard, but you have to tell yourself that you're not gonna see results right away in the first one, two, or even three weeks. I think I saw, I started seeing results maybe at the end of three weeks. You just have to be patient with yourself and be patient with time, be patient with your body. All right, so next I'm gonna talk about eating habits and what I changed. The biggest change I made was I started counting my calories. I've counted calories in the past, but just this past year, I didn't feel like it was necessary and that's probably why I wasn't losing weight was because I was really underestimating the amount of calories I was intaking each day. I used to think that, oh, okay, I only had maybe like 1400 calories today, I'm good. But in reality, there was a lot of things that I wasn't you know, thinking of that I ate, so it would be around 2,000, 2,500 calories, and that's why I wasn't losing weight. So I started keeping track of calories, and I, you know, I'm very used to keeping track of calories, so I'm very good at doing it in my head. I remember what I eat. I know the calories of everything that I consume, but if you need some sort of help or some sort of way to keep track of your calories, the My Fitness Pal app is really good for that. I used to use that, and they have pretty much every single food you can imagine on the app. I wasn't completely restricting myself of every single type of food. I still eat pretty much everything aside from, you know, the bad stuff. I don't eat fried or junk foods. I tried to eliminate processed foods like snacks and stuff. Um, and I tried to eliminate sugar. But I still eat all the foods that I love and I pretty much stick to a Mediterranean diet. Whole foods like salads and you know protein lean protein healthy fats like avocado olive oil um, i just love making my salads if you follow me on instagram i'm always posting my salad recipes but i just love topping on a bunch of vegetables and some grilled chicken yeah i just love eating whole grains you know brown rice shrimp you know vegetables taco bowls chicken bowls all that really good stuff so if you want to learn more about the mediterranean diet um you can definitely look it up i'm not a nutritionist um, disclaimer, I always have to say this in these type of videos, but I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a dietitian, I'm not a weight loss, health, fitness expert. This is just 
my experience and what I like. But um, yeah, so if you want to learn more about the Mediterranean diet, definitely look it up. It's really good. So I pretty much just make sure each of my meals is balanced with healthy fats, healthy carbs, and a lot of protein. I upped my protein intake by so much, and I think that's definitely helped me with the weight loss because when you eat protein, it keeps you full, it fills you up, and it prevents you from overeating and getting hungry later. I think in terms of diet and eating, increasing protein intake is like the number one thing I did that I know has helped me. Um, especially in the morning time with breakfast, I try to eat a lot of protein in the morning, um, especially since I work out in the mornings, usually before breakfast and after my workouts. Um, I eat my first meal of the day and I want it to be packed with carbs, fats, healthy fats and proteins. Um, so I usually will eat like a breakfast sandwich, like a turkey sausage patty that has about 20 grams of protein per serving and then I make an egg which has another I think I think it's six grams of protein um, and then I eat one of those light English muffins that's only 100 calories so in total my breakfast is about 30 grams of protein back in the day I would eat avocado toast and egg and not have any protein and it's no wonder I got hungry not even an hour later because I wasn't getting enough protein in the morning so just getting more protein is helping keeping me fuller longer and then also especially at nighttime I try to eat a dinner that's really full of protein because a past bad habit of mine was snacking and overeating at nighttime getting the cravings for snacks and sweets at nighttime after dinner so ever since I started eating more protein during dinner time I don't get any cravings for snacks anymore I stay full all the way up until I go to bed and it's really helped me to not consume so much junk food and snacks and overeating at nighttime. So some of my go-to meals have been protein wraps, you know, one of those protein tortillas, putting some chicken in it and putting a bunch of vegetables and some sauces in it. Uh, breakfast sandwiches, like I mentioned, grilled chicken salads, tuna. I love tuna so much. It's also help me with you know keeping me full for a long time because it's packed with protein and low in calories. I love grilled salmon, grilled chicken, ground turkey, stuff like that. And then another thing, I don't know if this has really helped me, but I've noticed ever since I started taking these uh, regularly every single day, that's kind of when my you know whole weight loss stuff happened, but um, taking my AG1 greens and also my wellness immunity shots, every morning I take them before I eat. And I don't know if that's helped. I'm just throwing that out there because I've been taking that every single day, uh, maybe for the past two months, around the same time when I started losing weight quickly. My immunity shots, I've shown them in the vlog before. I make them myself at home because it's much cheaper than buying the pre-made ones. But it helps with anti-inflammatory. It aids in digestion and bloating. It helps like to detox and all that. So that's why I love it. And then the AG1 greens just have so many benefits. These are the best greens I've ever, ever, ever used. I'm gonna link their website so you can learn more about the benefits, but basically it's like a multi everything. It helps with um, digestion, immunity, antioxidants, superfoods. Um, it is like a prebiotic and probiotic. It's literally everything all in one. And I've noticed a difference when I don't drink this. I didn't drink it the past weekend when it was Thanksgiving break um, and I was just feeling so sluggish and tired. But the day that I took it again for the first time in a few days, oh my God, I felt so good that whole day. I had so much energy, I just felt so good, I was not sleepy at all. So I love that stuff. Those are basically all the points I wanted to touch on. And then I just also, again, wanted to emphasize that the biggest and I think the most important change that I made and that I think someone should make when they're trying to start a weight loss journey is your whole mental around it. I made the mental shift of being motivated and disciplined to actually you know, put it into action and get up and work out and make sure I work out for minimum of one hour, five days a week. And also getting back on track after a couple days of rest, making sure I continue this process and this progress. So yeah, that's pretty much the gist of what I wanted to touch on. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go through the questions and see um, if there's some things that I didn't answer yet. Okay, someone asked, how did you create the consistency to get to your goal? What are some meal examples? Okay, so in terms of creating consistency, it was really hard in the beginning, just because I wasn't seeing results, you know, in the beginning, and I wasn't sure if, if it was really working. But just getting up and creating a routine, you know, I woke up, 
I drank my water. Sometimes I would eat a banana if I was hungry and then I would just get right into my workout before I had time to think or do anything else. And then after that, my whole breakfast routine, I would drink my drinks, my wellness shot. I would make a really well-balanced, protein-packed breakfast. And once I created that routine, I started feeling so good. So it just wanted me to keep going. And I wasn't seeing results at first, but then when I kept going, and then when I started to see results, I was like, wow, this is, I think this might be working. So I'm gonna keep going because I'm seeing results. Um, and so it's just really about knowing your end goal and your reason why you're doing it and finding a routine that works for you, one that you enjoy, one that works with your schedule. Meal examples, I kind of touched on them, but pretty much uh, for breakfast, I always eat a breakfast sandwich or I'll do like scrambled eggs um, and I'll do some sort of meat, whether it's a chicken, apple sausage or turkey sausage, one of those little breakfast sausage patties. Sometimes I'll even eat steak in the morning. I know that's like really heavy, but I like steak and eggs and Seriously, steak and eggs keep me full for, I'm not even lying, like four or five hours. And then for lunch, I like to either eat like a tuna wrap or a salad with grilled chicken and vegetables, or I'll even make like a regular sandwich with sourdough bread. I like sourdough bread because um, it's really beneficial for your gut health. And I think it's like the best type of bread to eat there. So I'll have like a turkey sandwich with like veggies and tzatziki sauce. Sometimes I'll have soup. I love, love, love soup. I love making my healthy lasagna soup, which I've showed in the vlogs before. I actually showed it in yesterday's vlog. So if you want to see me make the healthy lasagna soup, go check out yesterday's vlogmas. It was vlogmas day one. And I love fish. I make salmon at least once a week. I love tilapia. And I like to make it with a side of like broccoli or cucumbers, avocado. And then I always eat rice. Um, I don't cut down on my carbs. I obviously just watch my portion. I'm Filipino. I need my rice. It's very essential for me. So I haven't cut out rice. I haven't cut out anything basically except for fried greasy junk food. I don't eat out anymore. That's another thing that I change. I used to eat out a lot like at least once or twice a week I would like order food or go out to eat at restaurants and of course I still do occasionally here and there. Um, I do have my cheat days. That's another thing. I think that a lot of people asked about um you know cheat days i do allow myself to have cheat days i've had like three cheat days in the past month it was my friend's birthday one day a couple weeks ago and we were drinking and i ate pasta at the party and then we ate mcdonald's later that night so um you know in the past i would have those days and then i would just be like oh man i failed what's the use you know i'm gonna just continue eating bad because i already ruined it but now my mentality is when I have nights like that, the next day I wake up and I'm like, oh my God, I have to go work this off. I have to go work out. And I actually lost like three pounds after that night in the week following. So um, just getting back on track is very important. And you're allowed to have cheat days. It's all about balance. You know, you can have your fun, eat whatever you want on certain days, but just getting back into your routine of working out and eating healthy afterwards is important. How do you curb cravings? So I used to get so many cravings in the beginning. And the main things that helped for me was drinking more water. Like when I would get sweet or salty cravings, I would always drink a glass of water uh, before I decided to eat anything. And I would notice after 10 minutes, my cravings were gone. So a lot of the times you're just thirsty. And then another thing is, again, I know I'm being very repetitive, but increasing the protein intake has helped the cravings go away because protein keeps me full. I don't want to eat anymore. I'm so full. Um, I just don't even think about snacking or eating anything else because I feel so fulfilled with the meal that I already had. Where do you get your meal plan ideas and how to stick to healthier meals? I get a lot of my ideas on TikTok. There's not really any specific accounts that I follow. You know, your For You page on TikTok is very catered to your interests. So I always search for healthy dinner recipes, healthy pasta recipes, healthy breakfast ideas and stuff like that. And so my whole For You page is like, healthy food videos. Um, so I pretty much find my ideas on social media. I know there's so many videos on YouTube, Instagram, pretty much anywhere, Facebook I think also. Um, a lot of places online where you can find healthy food ideas and a lot of really good healthy food accounts too that you can follow. And to how to stick to healthier meals, you just have to find something that you really like. You know, it took me a while to kind of find the meals that I really like, but I found that I'm obsessed with salmon and fish. And I would try it with certain combinations of sides and I realized that I loved it with cucumber and avocado and carrots on the side. You know, eating healthy does not have to be a chore. You can eat healthy and still eat really good. That's why I like the Mediterranean diet because a lot of the foods in the Mediterranean diet are so delicious and fulfilling. It doesn't feel like I'm on a diet. It feels like I'm just eating normally, but I am in fact eating healthier foods. How often did you cheat harmlessly by eating foods that don't normally help? So I'd say I cheat like once a week, like on the weekends especially, maybe a Friday or Saturday night. 
especially when there's like events going on with birthday parties and dinners and stuff like that and thanksgiving was just here so i think in november i had like one two three four five i had like five cheat days um but when i do have the cheat days i just make sure i don't overeat and like i said the next day after i eat whatever bad foods it was i'll just get back into my you know workout and healthy eating routine. Supplements. So honestly, the only supplement I take is the AGI greens. I stopped taking a multivitamin because the AGI greens is pretty much a multivitamin in itself. It's like everything all in one. It has, I think like 70 vitamins and minerals in it. I'm not quite sure, but again, I'll link the website so you can read more about it. But that's all I take. I used to take a prebiotic and probiotic, but again, the AGI greens has it already. So I don't want to like overindulge and and take too many vitamins. Yeah, I really have decreased the amount of vitamins I take because of those greens. I don't think supplements really help with weight loss. I think it's mainly about eating habits and also working out. Someone asked, whenever you crave something, do you let yourself indulge or are you strict on yourself and avoid eating, drinking it? For example, if I'm craving a McDonald's french fries, I'll get them, but only a small. Do you do this or do you completely avoid it? So I think I just kind of mentioned this, but if I am eating bad, like let's say I'm going to McDonald's, I'll just eat like kind of a small portion. So when I did have that cheat day a few weeks ago and I went to McDonald's, I got a McChicken and a small fry. If it was the old me, I would have been getting a quarter pounder and a medium fry and like a four piece nugget and I would just eat all of it. On days you weren't feeling it, what made you stick to it and keep going? So I've had my days where I felt kind of discouraged or I don't know, I just didn't really feel like working out. And that's why you need rest days. You need to really give yourself a break. So if I wasn't feeling it, I would just not work out. I would just let myself be, I would be easy on myself. It's been a lot of trial and error. And I think I went through so many errors in the past year and now I'm finally getting to what's working. So for me, it was like a long time of disappointment and giving up and being discouraged. And then when I finally actually really stuck to it, and was working out five days a week, that's when I started to see results. So if you're not seeing results, you know, right away or feeling discouraged, you just really have to keep going because you're not gonna see results right away and it might take a while for you to actually start seeing results. So yeah, I would just say to be patient, be kind to yourself, don't give up, and trying to not make working out such a chore. That's why I say you have to really find a workout that you love, whether it's Pilates or yoga um, or any of the things that I mentioned before, cycling, walking, just walking every day is good for you and can help lead to weight loss. Someone asked what my go-to cheat meal is. Mm, that's a good one. I don't get many of them. So when I do have a cheat day, I'm like, oh my God, what should I eat today? Tacos, burritos. Mm. So I think I answered the rest of the questions. We're gonna end on that, my favorite cheat meal. So I hope you guys got something from this video. I hope I helped in any way possible. I hope I made sense. I was rambling for the most part, but yeah, I hope you guys just learn from my experience and what I did, what helped me. Um, maybe you can get some ideas for things you can try. But uh, in terms of meals, I'm gonna, you know, vlog a lot of my meals during Vlogmas. So if you don't follow me, I am vlogging every single day from December 1st to 25th and it's called Vlogmas. I do this every December and I just pretty much vlog my daily life, what I eat, what I do, what I wear, beauty things, fashion, but also, you know, health and wellness. I've been really into health and wellness and fitness for the past couple months. So if you like content like this, definitely subscribe and turn on notifications so you can know when I upload a video. But like I said, I'm going to be vlogging my meals tomorrow I'm posting a what I eat in a day video and you can kind of get a sense of what my eating is like during the day and for all of vlogmas I'll try to post as many of my meals as I can so that's all for this video I hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching I'll see you all in my next video